In today's video, I'm going to give you my review on this animation software Vitoon. So stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel. The channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation. And if that is you, welcome. You are at the right place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. And if you are new to animation or you want to start out in animation and you don't know where to begin, well, I've got some great news. I've got a free video training. Uh, it is absolutely free. In the description box below there is a um, link. You can just click there and sign up. And in this video training I will take you step by step, um, teach you the basics and you will actually work alongside with me and by the end of the video you would have created your very own animation. And that is what I want. I want you to actually animate and learn the basics and by the end of the video you will know the basics and you'll be able to apply that and start to create your own animations and that is what I want. I want you to start and that video is a perfect way for you to start. So in the des description box below there's a link just click there and sign up and uh, feel free to take that free video training if you are interested in becoming an animator. So you have nothing to lose. Um, now in today's video um, I'm going to give you my review on the animation software Vitoon. The guys at Vitoon contacted me and asked if I can do a review of this software and that is what I'm going to do. Now I think it is very important. I've actually went onto the internet to check out some of the software or some of the reviews um, out there and I think it is very important to be fair. Uh, this software isn't for all animators and I think a lot of the reviews out there is from animators who create animations, um, stories, etc. And when they use the software, it is very limited. You can't do what you want to do and then they give it a bad review. Now, I have to say this software isn't for everyone. It isn't for all all types of animators out there. For instance, I won't use the software because I do storytelling, I create TV shows uh, where I create my own characters, my own scenes and backdrops, etc. Um, and with this software, you won't be able to do it. This software isn't for animators like me who wants to create their own TV shows, etc. This is more for... Um, if you have a advertising agency and you want to create explainer videos for clients, um, adverts, um, if you have your own small business and you want to create an advert and you don't have the budget to um, pay animators to do it, that, this software is for you. Um, if you just want, if you're an online business owner or you're, you have your own company and you want to create explainer videos or you have a online course and you don't want to have your face on it, you want explainer videos or um, and you don't have a background in animation, this software is for you. So this software isn't for the seasoned animator who's creating TV shows etc. Um, this is more for um, explainer videos, this is perfect for explainer videos, so it's not for storytelling, it is more for your adverts, explainer videos those type of things. Um, so I think it is very important to know who the software is for. Um, if you are in an advertising agency and you need to create adverts for clients, studio animation adverts, this is for you and uh, you will probably find this software very helpful, a great tool for your business. But if you like me, you're a seasoned animator and you create TV shows, uh, you're going to get very frustrated with the software because it's very limited. And that is because it is not for you. It is not suited for the type of animations you want to do. So I would really want to start off this video with this because I did see some, um, some of the reviews on the internet. Uh, they don't um, have they don't keep that in consideration uh, they look at it as an animation software and I want to look at the software for who it is aimed for I think that is very very important so with that said let's quickly have a look at what it can do 
Um, the first thing, the characters. Um, I think, again, who is who the software is aimed for is for not your seasoned animators. So obviously the guy who's using the software won't have a drawing tablet, dr creating his own characters, ring it, rigging it. Um, so he is going to rely a little bit on already created characters. So the software does come with its own characters. Um, so you don't have to create your own and that's the thing why I won't use it because I like to create my own characters I like to rig them the way I want it and with the software you can't do it you can only use the characters that comes with the software now again um, if you look at who the software is aimed for that is perfect you don't want to create your own characters if you're an uh, animator like me you're going to get frustrated because you want to create your own characters um, so that's why I, I think you see why it's important to distinct um, between the two types of, anima types of animators who will use the software um, then uh, you can also, um, it comes with backgrounds, so you can import backgrounds um, onto your scene and you can zoom in, resize it to fit your scene. And here is one nice thing, you can import your own backgrounds. Um, so you can't do it with characters, but you can do it with backgrounds. So you can create your own backgrounds or maybe find images on the internet or purchase um, backgrounds and you can import that so that is something you can do but the other thing is there's um, you can't for instance in my case when I create a scene I want my characters to interact with my scene uh, move in front of certain objects move behind certain objects and with the software you can't do it but with explainer videos is it something that you want to do um, is there a need for your characters to interact with your scene probably not that much um, so one thing you can also do is you, um, you can add voices different ways uh, you can add text and it will actually create the voice for you um, that is perfect for those people who don't have the budget to have um, good quality microphones or to pay voiceover actors now you will have to sacrifice on quality because your voices will sound a little bit robotic uh, with those text to voice um, transfers or converters those softwares it always sounds like a robot it doesn't sound like a real human so that is the downside um, but you can record your own voice as well so that those are the two options. Uh, what I would have liked here, you can do it, um, is to create, to record your vocals and import it. Uh, you can do it, but you'll have to do it as a, uh, you'll have to import it into the music track. And, um, you can't import it as a voice. Um, so that's one downfall. And the other thing that I don't like with this is you can't add a voice recording to a character so that his vo his lips will sync up with the um, recorded voice that you so you can't make your characters actually talk um, they will talk they will move the mouth but it won't be synced to the uh, your audio recording so uh, your character will keep talking even if there is no um, voiceover so that is one downside that I don't like. I would like my characters, uh, if you want two characters to have a dialogue, uh, you should be able to link one audio clip with the one character and the other one with the other one. So um, that is something that I found is missing. I would love them to add that um, because it's um, currently you can add more characters to your scene, but if you want to have a dialogue between characters, that won't work because with characters um, again um, I like to animate my characters as an animator but again the software is not for animators like me it is for uh, guys who've never animated before so it does come with motion so you can add a walking motion and different motions on top of your character so that is one downside you can't animate your character yourself it comes with um, with motions already animated motions that you can drag on top of your character which helps um, again for who the software is for 
that is great. You don't have to worry about the animation part. You just drag your um, different motions on top of your character. But that can also sometimes be a downfall. It really limits you in what you can do. Because what do you do if you want your character to do something and there's no motion for it? You can't animate it. Um, so that is a downfall. But um, I'm sure you can work around it again this software isn't for your seasoned animator. It is for those who have never animated before and they want to create an animation for their business or for their, for an advert or something like that. So again, you need to keep in mind who the software is designed for. Um, then uh, they do have a, a membership club. So um, the software does come with characters and backdrops, um, but you may find there's something that you don't want. Um, there's something you want isn't there. So they do have this membership club where you can pay a monthly subscription and you have access to loads more characters and backdrops and templates. Um, so there is that option as well. What I would have liked is, um, for instance, I use Cartoon Animator 4. And they have a marketplace. So if I want something, I can just go search. And if I like something, I can purchase it. Um, I would have liked them to have that feature instead of a monthly subscription because what if you only need one specific um, character? Now you need to pay a monthly fee um, for just that one character whereby you can you could have saved a lot of money by just purchase, purchasing it once off. So that is one thing that I don't like. Um, I would rather prefer the marketplace option instead of the um, the membership option. Uh, but if you do want more characters and backdrops and um, templates, etc., it is there. Then one thing that I don't like is the zoom function, the camera zoom in and out. Uh, you basically add a new layer uh, where and you drag how long the zoom in or zoom out should be and then you drag the corner and place where you want it to zoom. Um, the problem is you don't really have that real-time view of what it will look like. It will basically if you look at your animation it will just resize a block on your screen and you will only see the final result after you've exported your video. I really would have loved them to have a real-time view so that when you press play, you will actually see the whole um, scene zoom in and out. But it does have the zoom in and zoom out function. I just don't like how they do it. I want to see physically how does this zoom in, zoom out look. Um, I just I don't want just the block to um, go bigger and smaller. I want to see the final result. So that is something I didn't like. But one other thing that that is quite awesome is you can actually import icons and gifs and videos. And also with the videos you can cut it and edit them. So that is a great feature if you want to use a certain video in your. Uh, presentation animation um, but there's a section of the video that you don't want in your animation you can just cut it cut it out so that is a great feature um, so that is just a rough um, review let me just go through a list of things um, that they've given me all the features so I'm just going to read through through them this is the features they've emailed me um, you have the ability to change transition colors, so it does come with different transitions between scenes that you can import as well between scenes, which is actually nice, and you have the ability to change the colors um, to really customize your animation. Uh, you can import your own fonts, so that is great. Um, I know I use another software um, for a different function. I'm not going to name <laughs> the software, um, but it doesn't it only comes with a certain amount of fonts you can't import fonts and if you want more fonts you need to buy them from them so um, I like the fact that you can just import your own fonts um, so that that is a great feature um, support millions of stock videos that I've um, mentioned and that you can also edit your videos um, you can add and remove extra timeline tracks so that is really important 
If you want to add a second character, you can do that. If you want to add more background music, uh, you can do that. Um, so that is that is a great function. The zoom in, zoom out I've mentioned. Um, scene alignment tool so you can align your text and your characters with one another. Customize project duration. Rename or delete imported resources. Um, so those are just a few of the features um, of the software. Another nice thing is, again, the software is for the beginner, someone that doesn't animate. It's not a seasoned animator. And something that I have to give them credit for is they've really simplified the interface. It is really simple and easy. There's not hundreds of buttons and functions and features. Um, it is very simple. The timeline, the first time I saw the timeline, I was a little bit concerned um, because you only see the three functions, the characters, the background, and the music. And um, I thought you can only add one character and one background and one audio file. But um, after playing around, I see that you can add it. So it's really simplified. So if you really are new to animation, you've never animated before, you will really find the software very easy to learn and use after a while. So I think that is um, one great thing that they've done is to really, they have, um, they kept in mind the user, who is going to use the software. Again, this is not for seasoned animators. It is for a business owner who wants to save money. Um, they don't want to pay thousands of dollars for a professional animator to create an ad for them or just to explain a video. Um, they can do it themselves. So that is who this software is for, and that is why I feel it's also important to make the interface very user-friendly and easy to use. Um, everything is nicely placed. So um, I think if you've never animated before, you will learn the software very quickly, and that is a great thing. That is what you want. You don't want to spend money on something and you have no idea how to use it, and you need to go spend more money on online courses to find out how to use the software. So that is a great thing. So guys, that is my review of the software. Um, let me know in the comments if, below if you've used the software. Um, what are your thoughts? If you, if you are interested to find out more about the software or, or you want to purchase it, um, I do have a link in the description box below. So you can just click there. It will take you to the website and you can find out more. Um, there's more tutorial videos or um, explainer videos, all the features, etc. Um, so if you want to learn more about the software, feel free to click on that link. Or if you would like to purchase it, you can just click on the link and it will take you to this um, website, to the VidTunes website. So guys, that is it for me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope this has helped you in any way to make your mind up whether this software is for you or not. Uh, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on the software if you've used it in the past. So from me till next week, God bless and happy animating.